Are you interested in growing your business as fast as possible? I've got the answer for you today on this episode of the Do This Sell More Show. Hi, it's Dave Lorenzo. This is the Do This Sell More Show, and today we're talking about the fastest way to grow your business. That's right, we're talking about a way you can jumpstart the progress of your revenue growth plan, and it is phenomenally effective. Of course, I'm talking about strategic alliance partnerships. I'm talking about you connecting with somebody else who's already got a client base that you seek to acquire and providing something of value both to the clients and to them. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to show you how to put this phenomenal strategy into play on this episode of our show. Before we get to that, I want to remind you that our show is powered by your questions. If you have a question about growing your business, you got a question about sales, you got a question about marketing, you got a question about relationship based business development, I want you to send it to me. The best way to get it to me is to use the email address askdave at dlorenzo.com. A S K D A V E at D L O R E N Z O.com. Those emails come directly to me. If you want to and you want to become a star, send me a video. Make a video with your question and send it to that email address. Be sure to include your name and the city that you're from. Also, tell me a little bit about your business, but make sure your question is in a minute or less. I may use your video as part of my video show. I may take the audio from that video and use it on my daily podcast. I thank you for being a member of our community, and it is fantastic to have you here with me day after day. So let's talk a little bit about strategic alliance partnerships. A strategic alliance partnership is when you and another business share the same client base, and you get together and figure out how you can together deliver value to that client base so that they will become clients of both of you. There are two ways to do strategic alliance partnerships. The first way is where you combine both of your client bases, both of your mailing lists, and you target both lists with joint value. The other way to do it is where you go to another service provider and you say, I want to target your client list and we're going to partner on this. Maybe we share the revenue. Maybe there's a referral fee. Maybe there's some way to ethically split the money we're going to make from me targeting your client base. So the two ways to do it, you combine the lists that you have and you mail or approach both lists. The other way to do it is you go find someone else's list and you say to them, I'm going to give you a cut of whatever I make from selling products or services to your list. Always be transparent with your customers. Always be transparent with your clients. Let them know that you're sharing the profits. Let them know that you're providing value in an additional way. Most clients, most customers will appreciate the fact that the world of services, the world of products is being opened up to them in this way. So there are four specific ways you can take advantage of strategic alliance partnerships. The first way is to do a joint or an endorsed mailing. So just like I mentioned when we talked about the types of strategic alliance partnerships, each one of these strategies can be broken down into joint or endorsed situations. So when it comes to a mailing, let's say you approach a firm that has the same client base that you'd like to attract. Let's say you're a law firm, you approach a CPA firm and you say to the CPA firm, I'd like to create an educational piece and I'd like to send it to your mailing list. The CPA firm may say fine and the CPA firm's head, the managing shareholder of the CPA firm will write a letter saying, my friend and oftentimes business partner, Joe Smith, who's an attorney at XYZ Firm, has created this phenomenal piece for us on how to save money on your taxes in the upcoming year. And I wanted to share it with you. And he will put in a mailing all of those tax guides to all of the clients. That's an endorsed mailing. Now, usually what happens is the law firm in that case will pay the mailing costs and the marketing expenses for the CPA firm, but the CPA firm will send that document out to all of their clients. And their clients benefit because they get great information and the list isn't shared with the law firm, but the law firm will get clients from it because the marketing pieces go out 
to the people in the CPA firm's audience. Now, a joint marketing opportunity, a joint strategic alliance partnership opportunity would look something like this. The law firm and the CPA firm get together. You could create a marketing piece, an individual marketing piece that both of you write and mail it to both lists. That would be a joint mailing. Let me get into events a little bit deeper. The law firm and the CPA firm get together and they say, let's do an event on how to reduce your tax exposure in the upcoming year. You're gonna cover these points during the day, I'll cover these points during the day. We'll market the event to both of our lists and we'll put as many people in the room as we can. Here's what the marketing pieces will look like. And then on the day of the presentation, they have 100 people in the room, 50 are from the law firm, 50 are from the CPA firm. What happens is that all those people are exposed to both of the people who are from each of the firms. So the law firm gets to market to 50 new people. They get to deepen relationships with the 50 people they already have. Same thing with the CPA firm. Phenomenal opportunity. That would be a joint marketing opportunity. Now, since we touched on events, let me get into events a little bit deeper. I gave you one joint event opportunity. A secondary opportunity would be for you to do joint webinars together. Similar to a joint live event is a joint webinar. Also, you could do an event where you hosted a speaker series and the two of you, the CPA firm head, the law firm head, for lack of a better example, we're going to carry this all the way through, the CPA firm and the law firm head would host an event once a month, maybe a dinner event, and they would bring in a guest speaker and they would interview the guest speaker and they would invite all of their clients to that. So events and joint mailings are phenomenally powerful ways to leverage strategic alliance partnerships. The other way to do it, the third way to do it, would be client introductions. So you and the other firm make a plan to go out and every month you're going to bring two clients to a lunch, each of you, and you're going to introduce the clients to each other and you're going to introduce the clients to the other firm. So you, you bring two people and your counterpart at the other firm brings two people and you introduce them to each other so that they can do business together. You have to put a lot of thought into how these folks match up. You have to do your research to make sure that there's a good fit. But what you're doing is you're offering four people the opportunity to do business with one another. In return, you and the CPA firm head get exposed to these people that you don't know, you deepen relationships with existing clients. That's a great way to go. The final way, the fourth way, is to create a joint product. You and the CPA firm could get together and you could create a joint seminar series that you sell for people to come into. You could write a book together and it gets published. You could create a video education series. Creating a joint product is a great way to leverage the opportunity for a strategic alliance partnership in the long run because that product will outlive oftentimes the people who come and go through the, throughout the firm and that product will be a marketing tool for you for the future. So creating a joint product is phenomenally effective and it's another way for you to market something to clients who don't actually know you yet, it's a great introductory way for people to meet you. If you want to grow your business quickly, leveraging the trust that someone else has with their clients is powerful. And that's what strategic alliance partnerships do. They leverage the trust that someone else has with their client base. If you have any questions about strategic alliance partnerships and how to form them, this is one of the things I do in my business. It's one of my specialties. Reach out to me. Give me a call directly at 888-444-5150. That's 888-444-5150. I'll be happy to create a strategic alliance partnership strategy in conjunction with you and help you execute on that strategy. The return on investment from this type of initiative is phenomenal. All right, it's the time in our show where we get to take a question from a member of our audience. Let's see what we have today. Today's question is from Robert Parker in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Robert Parker says, I hate cold calling. What is the best way to reach out to a new prospect without it? Well, Robert, that's a big, big question. And I've done whole shows on alternatives to cold calling. In fact, I did a whole five show series 
on alternatives to cold calling. But if you were just starting your business today and you didn't want to cold call, or if you're in a highly regulated industry, like I mentioned, law firms, and you can't cold call, attorneys in most states in the United States can't cold call people to make them their clients, if you're in that situation, I can help you with the fastest way to get going. We talked about strategic alliance partnerships today. That literally is the fastest way to get going. But absent that, what I would do is I would go around to all the groups and associations in my city and town, and I would offer to speak on a topic that is highly interesting to the people who are in that environment. So if you live in a community that has a lot of senior citizens, I would go out and talk about, if I were a CPA, I would go out and talk about ways to make your money last longer if you're a senior citizen. If it was close to tax time and I was a CPA, I would go out and talk about ways to reduce your tax exposure and file your taxes quickly so that you're in compliance with the IRS, something along those lines. You have to find a topic that's interesting and go out to Rotary Clubs, Kiwanis Clubs, any uh, groups or associations that are connected to the Chamber of Commerce that meet on a regular basis, networking groups or associations. Anytime you can get in front of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people, I would be doing that in your local area. In addition, I would reach out to everyone I knew and send them a letter, inviting them to an event that you're hosting to educate them on your area of interest, but picking a topic that is relevant to them and valuable to them. And I would host these types of meetings at least once a quarter, maybe even once a month, so that people would come in and they would see who you are, get to sample a little bit of what you do, and then they would either refer you to someone else or they would do business with you themselves. So two things I would do really, really quickly, I would reach out and give educational talks to groups in the area. The second thing I would do is I would host a monthly event where I would invite people in and I would connect with them and share with them some business development information so that they could grow their business. Those are the two things I would do to jumpstart my business, Robert, without cold calling if I were you. I hope you do it and reach out to us and let us know how it goes. My friends, this is the Do This Sell More show. We are here every day and I'm so glad you're with us. Thanks for being a part of our community. Until tomorrow, make sure you do this and sell more.